I used to struggle. Now I'm curly hair goes. Uh, nigga, I taught Megan. Nigga, you gotta do it. Stop playing with me. What's popping, YouTube? Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm so excited for this video because I love you've been getting a lot of questions. So recently, I've been asked like, "What do you put in your hair? Your hair is growing." Da 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 da. da. And um, so this is just gonna be like a hair tip video. Um. I'm gonna give off some tips, some do's and don'ts, and um, I'm gonna show you guys what I use as well. So, let's just go ahead and get into the video. Um, starting off, we're just gonna start with shampoo and conditioner. So, um, I use this shampoo right here, then I use this conditioner. Both work really well, they smell amazing. Um, I got this from Ross, but I'm pretty sure you can get it from like Walmart or Target too. Um, so basically, I'm going to explain what the shampoo does. Um, it's highly nutrient. How do you say that word? Highly. <laughs> it's highly nutritious. And it contains proteins, calcium, vitamin B complex, vitamin E, iron. It's 80%. Um, Mono unsaturated fat. It's non greasy and it's lightweight to absorb quickly into the hair and skin. This pressed oil is widely reversed for its incredible benefits for promoting healthy, shiny hair and radiant resort. I mean, radiant restored skin. So <laughs> I can read, guys. I just I get nervous, you know. But yeah, so this is really good. It smells amazing. Like, um, if I could explain the smell. I guess it smells like the name, <laughs> but it really works good. And then for the um, conditioner, this is what I use. Um, if you know about Jamaican black cash oil, um, I know this is like a hair growth tip some people use, but it works really well. So with this conditioner, um, you're going to rinse it out after you shampoo your hair, um, but your hair needs to be damp. So... Um, Okay, this conditioner really works for me because it's perfect for color treated hair. Um, you kind of, well, you can tell, like, it's black at my roots and then brown here. So that it works really good for that. Um, it's also, let me see, it's safe for color treated hair, perm, straightened, or styled heat hair. So, yeah, it works for all of that. Um, I just started using that and I mean like the growth, like I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna do like a little length check, right? Okay. So my hair is here and if we're looking toward the back of my hair, I'm gonna pull this strand down. It's here. I hope you guys can see that. I hope I think you can. But yeah, so it's really been helping my hair grow. Along with that, I have been using this Cantu Grow Strong right here. Um, this is in any like Walmart Target. It, yeah, <laughs> but it's a um, straightening treatment, like you guys see in the um, picture. So um, this one straightens fragile weak hair, and it helps stop breakage. Um, for me, I have a lot of breakage because I need my ends clipped, and they're a little dry. But um, yeah, it prevents a lot of breakage. Like usually, I would have a lot of breakage by now, but um, it's really been coming through. Um, it also protects hair against heat and styling damage. Um, I'm gonna insert pictures. I had so bad heat damage. Like, okay, I think around like 2016, I had cut my hair. So it was long on this side and short on this side. And it was like about this, it was right here. So I grew a few inches. I grew a lot but um yeah so I have that style in and um, with the style it low-key required you to have your hair straight all the time or at least curled so I got bad heat damage with that and then I'd say I was ready to grow my hair back in 2017 like I was just over the cut process like just having to wait and just like I didn't want my hair to go into a ponytail like not that it wasn't going into the ponytail but like this side of my hair literally here and then this side is like long so say you're trying to put your hair in a ponytail and this side of your hair is shorter like it's hard like 
the frustration I feel in my heart right now just remembering those days. Like, it's really hard because your hair slips out of the rubber band and then you have to put bobby pins in. I just didn't like, I didn't like that at all. So, yeah, I use that as well. Um, some people ask me what moisturizer I put in my hair. Um, I use this. It's daily oil. Um, usually when I do my hair, I take this spray bottle and I just put, um, my leave-in conditioner. This is really good too. A lot of people don't like Cantu, but it works for me. So <laughs> until it stops working, I'm gonna keep on using it. Um, yeah, so I just put this in there. I have some, um, oil also. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, y'all, this is a big one. I don't know how I left this out. So, um, in the process of me trying to grow my hair back, and I think I did this a few months ago as well, um, it's a little dirty right now, but this hair growth oil works amazing. Like, it can be used, um, on your hair. I know some people, um, put it on their fingertips, and it helps, like, their fingernails grow as well. But, yeah, so, I've been doing that, um... If you're having any heat damage trouble, the main tip I'll give for you is just stop putting heat in your hair and really try um, some productive styles. Um, I've done this. I can put it in a little picture box. I don't have it with me now, but I've done this um, hot oil treatment. I've also done like a hair mask. Those work really good as well. Um, yeah, so the rest is really just... <laughs> It just happens, like, you just let it happen. Um, I really didn't notice the growth until people started pointing it out, like, wow, your hair got so long, and I'm like, oh, I did it. Like, I, it feels like I haven't done anything, but, um, looking at the products I have, it's like, okay, it's growing for a reason, you know what I mean? Um, also, oil your scalp. If you're like me, I have, um, a dry scalp. So, this is hair and scalp treatment. Um... It's, okay, it's a grease, so of course it gets greasy. Don't put that much. It, it's not that deep. Don't put that much. I just use this right here. Um, yeah, other than that, I really don't do too much. Um, I try to at least do a hair mask um, every two months. I really don't do it as frequently as I should, but... Um, yeah, that's really all I do. I'm Like I said, I promise I'm going to show you guys that picture of the hair mask I'm talking about. It works really good. Um, aside from that, some other tips I could tell you if Cantu doesn't work for your hair. Um, you can try the um, hair skin and nail pills. I know that works. I took it for a little while and I kind of stopped. So I don't know if that really has much to do with the growth either. Um... There was something else. Oh, I was taking these biotin pills. Um, I forgot. It causes damage damage to your liver or something like that. So I stopped using it. But yeah, so we're going to do a length check one more time. Okay, so I'm going to do like the bigger side. So my hair is here on both ends. Um, like I said, I do need my ends clipped. But yeah, that's my... Um, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe. If you guys have any more questions about the shampoo or conditioner or just the Cantu products in general, go ahead and comment that down below. Yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, Y'all probably going to see me in the next one on my birthday. I might do a Christmas vlog, maybe. Um, so yeah, uh, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much and bye. No, you thought it was over, but I'm gonna do it one more time for y'all. Look, I used to struggle. Now I'm curly hair goals. Uh, look, make sure you subscribe, man. I got new music dropping soon. Get at me. <laughs>